Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new COC episode. So firstly, I would just like to say sorry this upload has taken so long, guys. I've basically been farming for the last couple of hours, and it's literally taken over an hour just to find a single base. So uh, we've actually found this one, and it's time to get on with uh, with today's first episode. So basically, obviously, the update is going to be coming out in a couple of days' time. And uh, it's time to get these walls to max level because those new walls are actually coming out, guys. So they are level 12 walls. For those of you that missed the update, the, uh, the update news, there are basically going to be 50 new level walls added into the game. And we're going to talk about it in a second and some other update news, guys. So make sure you stay tuned. I have a couple of things I want to talk about which you might not yet know about, guys. But we're just going to get this attack out the way first. So it is a live attack coming in. And where should we hit from? You know what? We're going to hit from... We're gonna see if we can, uh, we're gonna see. What should we see if we can do? Let's see if we can take out these heroes. Let me just test for a big bomb. Nope, no big bomb there. Okay, so we're gonna leave the heroes. We're gonna, uh, what, what do we do? What do we do? We're gonna, we're gonna strike from here. So wall breakers are gonna go in there. I'm hoping that the wizard tower's not gonna connect. Okay, he did. It's alright. It's alright. It's, it's okay, guys. It's okay. We're gonna drop the archer queen just over. You know what? We're just gonna send the whole army in together. I was gonna do a queen walk, but there's not really any point doing that. So here we go. We haven't actually got that long left inside of the raid. I've spent the first half of it talking. So we're gonna drop in the uh, the troops there. Two wizards down on the right hand side. Jump spell's gonna go about. Where should we do it? Let's do it there. Jump spell's gonna go there. We're gonna drop in the barbarian king guys there. Two bowlers there, hopefully going to take out the army camp, and then the rest of the bowlers and the wizards and everything else, hopefully going to go into the center. Where are you going? None of them have actually followed our funnel, but it's okay. We're going to put the Grand Warden's ability really early, guys. Queen ability going to have to get used. She's going to take out the uh, the actual Barbarian King over there on the right hand side. So it's only a single target Inferno that uh, Inferno Tower there. There shouldn't be too much of an issue. There goes another Rage spell. Hopefully the Town Hall's going to fall pretty quickly. Got a free spell for the uh, the multi target Inferno Tower. Damn. I've completely got distracted this entire raid, and it really hasn't gone too great. So we still have a rage spell remaining. We have a defending clan castle. Sorry, an attacking clan castle to drop down. 44 seconds left, and we need to get ourselves some percentage points. So I don't know what's inside of the CC. I think there's some hog riders inside of there. We're going to drop it down over there, guys. What is it? What is it? Yeah, there's a couple of hog riders inside of our CC, and we've got a couple of other troops. We're going to drop down an earthquake spell. Hopefully we can pick up some more percentage points. Nope. What a fail that was. I spent so long talking, I just got completely mesmerized. But it doesn't really matter, guys. We've got a poison spell. Let's just drop a poison spell. Let's end that there. Not really caring about that. So as I was saying, the, uh, the update is going to be coming out in, what is it? Hopefully three, four days time. And we've actually just maxed out our gold. So that's cool. Let's just get a screenshot of that, guys. Just in case I want to use it for a thumbnail. So we just maxed out our gold. We've got 7.5 million elixir. And we need to upgrade the Grand Warden. So the Grand Warden's going to cost 9.1 million. And we're also going to buy these gems. So we just purchased the resource pack for, uh, what is it, 99 cent. And we're, I think we've actually got 11 million gold now. Yes, there we do. So we've got 11 million gold. And we're going to uh, we're gonna spend all of that in this episode, guys. So what we're going to do, we're going to quickly train ourselves up another army. Now, we are going to start to push tonight. I've actually decided to completely change the army I was using, guys. So previously, I was using a bowler kind of giant attack strategy using something similar, except I've decided to completely drop out earthquake spells and go for a jump spell. And we're going to be using the queen walk from now on. So let's just upgrade some of these walls inside of the base, guys. So we're going to start off with a wall there, a second wall. And that's going to take us to a total so far. And we've only been doing this for about, what, six or seven weeks. And we've already got 94 level 11 walls. So that's not too bad whatsoever. Hopefully we'll have 100 by the time the update does land. Well, we're definitely going to have 100. We've got 8.1 million elixir. And we've also got 12,000 gems sitting inside of our account. So here's what we're going to do over the next couple of days, guys. We're actually going to max out the Grand Warden. But we're not going to gem any elixir. So we're only going to farm the elixir. Then we're going to gem the time on the Grand Warden. He should be level 20 by, I would say, Wednesday, Thursday at the latest, guys. And I think the update's going to drop either maybe Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. So if this is the first time you are seeing the channel, make sure you leave a like on the episode if you enjoy it, guys. And let me know down below what date do you think the update is going to drop. Don't forget to sub to the channel to stay up to date with any more of the sneak peeks that will hopefully be coming out over the next couple of days. Let's just check my defense log. So I haven't yet actually built a new base. This dude here actually got a 49% one star, so that was close. As I said, I haven't built a new base, and that is the first thing I'm going to do once we have recorded this episode. So as I said, we've been using a new attack strategy, guys. Let me show you what I've basically been doing. 
So it's actually pretty, uh, it's, it's actually been pretty varied. We've been using a dis, uh, kind of like four rage spells sometimes and a jump spell sometimes, three rage spells, one jump and a freeze. I haven't really been trophy pushing the last couple of days. I've been more focused on, you know, just kind of maxing out the storages, guys, in preparation for the update, which we already done. I mean, we've got 150,000 Dark Elixir. Obviously, there are going to be new hero levels, but I don't think we're going to be upgrading them just yet. We're not going to be jamming them. We're definitely not going to jam them. I just used the Queen's Ability in time there. We're, but as you can see, we are using a Queen Walk inside of this attack, guys. We're not going to be jamming the hero levels, we are only going to be upgrading the new troop levels, then we're going to jam the time, so the troops will be received straight away. Then over, you know, the Christmas period into the new year, we're going to start to upgrade our heroes towards level 45. I've got a very good feeling though, guys, that level 45 heroes will actually help me a tremendous amount inside of the trophy push, so we could see ourselves jamming them. I'm not really quite sure what's going to happen. I would like your, your, your feedback on that, guys. What do you think I should do? So check it out, we've got a nice funnel there. The rest of the troops are legit just going to go straight into the center, and it's one of the easiest attack strategies you can use to guarantee yourself a 3-star. Now, I've actually been trying to learn 3-star attack strategies on Town Hall 11, and to be honest with you guys, it has been going so damn bad, especially inside of war. For some reason, when it comes to war attacks, I get completely taken away, and I never like 2-starring, I only like the 3-star. Even if I'm going up against the max Town Hall 11, I always try and 3-star, and the problem with that is, I completely fail, and sometimes don't even get a 1-star, sometimes I only get a 1-star, and you know, half the time I get a 2-star, and it's very incredibly rare, I mean, I don't think I've even ever done it, that I get a 3-star, guys, so it's really not great. Now, if you take a look at this base here, this is a maxed out Town Hall 11, and this, this Queen Walk done a tremendous amount of damage if we had an attack in clan castle i'm sure we could have three starred this guys check it out all they've got left is two defenses down the bottom and an air defense a cannon over on the left hand side which is about to get taken out by the grand warden and the same on the top so that's it pretty much just four defenses two cannons one on the top one on the bottom two archer towers one on the top one on the bottom so four defenses left they got three air defenses around the outside actually if i had an air attack i would have crushed this base Imagine if you'd taken out those air defenses there, one, two, three, four, you would have you would have crushed the rest of the base. I mean, there's no way around it. So we're gonna uh, go four times speed here, guys. Unfortunately, we didn't have any more units to clean up, and I decided not to waste another minute and just end the raid early, guys. We did secure over 70%, meaning we picked up a 100% loot bonus, 14 extra trophies, and for those of you wondering, we're currently sitting at 5,252 trophies. Now the actual season ends. When does the season end? So the uh, season ends, I think it ends either the 3rd or possibly the 4th of January. So we still have well over, you know, two, three weeks, you know, two and a half weeks to go before the end of the season. I know I haven't pushed up incredibly high, guys, but don't worry. I promise as soon as the new update is released, we will do this push. There is no way I'm ending the season without being in the top 1,000 players. I promise we will reach the top 1,000 players in the world. We're currently 10,000, so we, well, we're 9,000 off. I was gonna say we're not that far, but we are pretty damn far off. But hopefully we will reach that 6,000 trophy count. At the end of the day, if I actually dedicate, I would say six to eight hours a day trophy pushing, guys, there shouldn't be much of a reason why I can't hit it. Now we're currently, uh, we're going to actually request some troops, any troops there. We've got 8 million elixir, but as I said, we are going to keep that. We could actually possibly gem the Grand Warden in the second episode. So we're going to farm up the elixir to 10 million. And then we are actually, thank you for the troop, Smokey. So we're going to farm up the elixir to 10 million. And then we're going to uh, gem the Grand Warden by spending the elixir and gemming the time. So he will go to level 16. And then, of course, we also had the big trophy offers, guys. So this was actually a 19 cup offer, and I believe... We got incredibly lucky here and actually swung into the center. So another great reason that we've started using the Queen Walk is, I've noticed if you draw out the defending clan castles, well, not really I've noticed, it's, it's an obvious thing. Once you take out the defending clan castle, guys, it's going to make the attack a whole lot easier. So we got the Archer Queen Walk. She's going to do some great damage here. Take out a variety of these buildings. There goes the Rage Spell. The only thing with the Archer Queen Walk, you've got to ensure that you use the Rage Spells at the correct time. And do not miss the Queen's ability. You miss the Queen's ability, you've pretty much ruined the entire raid, guys. So check it out. In double speed, our heroes go around the outside. And I think a couple of bowlers actually swing into the center towards the Teslas. Take out the Town Hall, guys. All in all, it was a great attack strategy. 
I'm definitely feeling the Archer Queen walk right now. It's definitely an attack which pretty much can guarantee you a two star at least on a Town Hall 11 as long as you deploy the, uh, the units, the spells, the heroes at the correct time guys and actually ensure that you do everything in order. If you don't do it in order, then there is a great chance that you could completely mess it up. But we are going to win this episode here. I'm going to go straight into another live attack. I think we've got the boost on the barracks for another 40 minutes, so that's cool. I've actually started to build my next army. We've got the heroes, the spells, the troops ready. Inside of the CC, we've got five wizards, a healer, and a couple of barbarians. So I will see you shortly, guys. Don't forget to leave a like, sub to the channel, and stay tuned for more update information, which will be coming shortly over the next couple of days. Peace out.